So to change the color at the brim I want to take this off of the, the strand here. So take it off and just leave it sit. Now I'm going to just make sure that this last one that has been here I'm just gonna make sure that it does a tie and I'm gonna tie it to the loom itself. And when I go to tie this I don't wanna tie this to the point that I can't get it off. So just enough that it's kinda got that extra loop in there and so when we go to use this it's gonna be kinda hidden. And then I'm going to then trim this piece out just a little bit shorter. This will be inside the brim. I'm then going to reach through and I'm going to grab the piece here okay and I want to grab the very end. So I'm looking for, I changed the here when I broke my uh, my sticky thing. So this is where I started. This is the slip knot. So we know that we started here. So the slip knot here I'm going to just push it partially the way down and put that slip knot section on top of the loom. You can use your tool for that as well if you wish and just push it down. So you're getting the two strands that are on the end. Once you get the first two the rest of it will fall in line. So now that it's on I'm now going to just push it down. So using your tool you'll find the next two. It's two strands because you double stranded. So you're just gonna put the next two strands over top and then you'll find the next two and etc. and you'll rotate all the way around using this. When you get back around I want to be able to tuck this inside of the brim as well. I know white on the white is hard to see. Now in this instance I am going to switch to Bernat Blanket. It's already double the thickness so I don't need to double strand it and I want to create a slip knot. So I've already shown you how to do that. So create that. Don't have too long of a tail. Just long enough that you can pretty much secure that it won't fall out. Now I want to put this on the one that is after this piece here and I want to pull it so it's snug but again not crazy tight. I'm going to take this straggler and I'm gonna put it inside because this is not yet finished and then I'm going to take the straggler that is the starting also inside and then I'm going to finish placing these loops on the rest of the loom going all the way around. Once you've gone all the way around and the stragglers are trapped on the inside really give it a solid push. You've double stranded at this point. If you haven't double stranded you may have double wrapped and go all the way and push it down. And now the beginning of the new color is ready. The straggler is inside. You can't even see it and then you're going to begin to wrap using this new color. So this will be then the start of a brand new color and you will notice that on the outside of this once you get moving will look completely seamless as if you never change nothing except for the color. So it's gonna be a really great way to be able to hide it in. So um, just continue to wrap around. Now that you've gone all the way around with the red you're going to take both of the sets of strands that were over top of the pegs before and these are the last color and you're gonna push those over. And what you're doing is you're knitting this brim completely into position as you go. So you wanna grab everything. The first one is always relatively tight and then it loosens off after that. So the only thing left should be the red and you're gonna push down when you're ready. So just you can probably grab both sets of those and go at the same time if you wish. If not just grab one set first, the top set here and push over and then grab the bottom set and etc. So please knit all the way around like this. So at this point I've just knit all the way around. 